Life has been a lot lately and I need a change. Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are going over my new stack. And as you can see, <laughs> we have a simplified and I think it's gonna be really good for me. It has been a wild like past 12 months, but especially in like the six, last six months, it's been a lot. And I have been neglecting my planners and trying to evolve and change with all of the crazy stuff going on in my life. and. I've come to the conclusion that I think I only need two planners now, <laughs> which is crazy. I used to use four or five, and in fact, I'm going to actually link some past stack videos down below so you can see like how I've kind of changed my style over time. And now we are here to two planners, and I'm really excited about it. I'm just a little bit scared, but mostly excited. I tend to like not lean into change like I should but I'm feeling really content with these and I haven't even started them yet. So we're gonna start with this one first because this is gonna be the workhorse of my stack. And this one has been a long time coming. <laughs> I feel like I'm coming like full, full circle with Moxie Life because I started in a planner like this and now we're coming back to it. And I didn't even use it for very long back then, but I've always kind of missed it. So before this, I was using an A5 plum paper. This one right here, which I absolutely loved. Um, I have kind of like honed my style in this one that I'm going to carry over into this one. And I've been using the Moxie Life notebooks as well. And I used to have a memory planner. So that's three planners that I used to spend time in every week. And as life got crazy and family illnesses and my own health issues and just like general chaos, I have realized I need to simplify. So, so the reason I picked this one in particular is that it has a little bit more room than my A5 planner that I was loving for like two years, but I just feel like I need a little bit more space, especially on the weekends. So in my plum paper, I have a stacked weekend, and in this one, I have two full columns for the weekend. So I can do my lists, but I can also do more. I can do more memory keeping because I feel like in my plum paper I haven't been able to do that as much as I would like because I'm kind of limited with the stacked weekend which really didn't bother me until recently and I feel the need to put in more memory keeping and have more room in here to grow and you know this one it's going to give it to me. Another reason why I chose this specific uh, 7x9 Moxie Life planner is because I haven't been feeling inspired by my planners lately. And you've probably seen that because I've been disconnected on Instagram and I've cut my filming schedule down because I just haven't come up with ideas that really I want to fulfill. Like, I just need something different and I think this planner is going to give it to me. And the last reason I picked this specific planner is because it has everything all in one spot. So I'm going to have my monthly goals in here, here on these pages before the month. And then we'll have weekly actions right there. So in the past, I will sometimes neglect my companion notebooks, which I've been using for like three years and I love. But sometimes they get shuffled on my desk and then I don't look at my goals for like three or four days or a week or two weeks or whatever. And so I'll have them right here so that I can look at my week and my weekly actions and my reflections will be in here as well. And I have a little bit more room with them too. I love the companion notebooks because they lie flat and they're super comfortable to write in and everything. But these have a little bit more room, a little bit more space. And ever since I injured my hand a couple of years ago, writing, after a while, it starts to get my hand tired. And so having a little bit more space to write a little bit bigger, I think will be helpful. So this is a six month planner and that's perfect for the rest of the year. I'll be starting it in July and it's got a hard cover on it. It's the undated six month vertical and I'm really excited. So let me know down below if you have switched up your planners lately, if you're planning to, if you're content, let me know your planner situation. I'm curious because 
I just, I'm, I have a good feeling about this. Now it's time to talk about my teacher planner. So this is the other planner in my stack and I'm just really excited to use this planner again. This is the EC Focused Teacher Lesson Planner. It's a seven by nine size, which I really like. I used the bigger version for three or four years and this one came out last year and I just was so drawn to it. It has the focused cover, the um, like, what is this like the faux suede I can't remember what it's called but um this is amazing but I will probably cut it off sometime in the fall so that I can use all of my EC covers that I've collected over the years and that's one thing that I really like about this one that I can use those covers I can use stickers so this planner is very simple very like bare bones which I like because I can do whatever I want with these pages. I can make them my own. This year my theme is gonna be bright like gemstone. I just am so excited for these jewel tone colors. It's gonna be beautiful I think. Very bright and fun which I haven't done in a couple of years. Last year I did like a muted like natural color theme which was fun but I'm gonna switch it up this year and go bright and like rainbow gemstone. It's gonna be super fun. Here is the weekly layout. Again very very simple. I can choose what I want to do with my headers each week. I can switch it up and I have 12 months in here so it'll get me through the entire school year. In the very back I've got some checklists which I generally don't use that much but maybe I'll find a use for them this year. I tend to washi in any kind of things that I need like papers that I need to keep back here and then there's the back cover. Um, I did order some little pockets from EC so that I can put those like back here and maybe even like like in between the months. I don't know. We're going to experiment with it. I will do a setup video for this planner so that I can get ready for the school year and I'll show you how I get this planner prepped and ready to go. This technically isn't a planner, but I will be pairing this notebook with my teacher planner. It's a meeting notebook from Plum Paper, and I actually saw my sister using this, like the bigger version, and I thought this is perfect. I used one of these notebooks last year, like the stitch notebook, and it was great, but it felt like I was wasting a lot of space because each spread was like a two-page spread for one meeting, and I would only use like one page of it. So this is great because it's got just a one page spread, very simple to the point, which is exactly what I need. And there's plenty of pages in here. I go to about, I don't know, anywhere from three to five meetings a week. So I need a place to keep all my notes. And then I added on some coloring sheets, just when the meeting gets a little, you know, I need to refocus. The coloring really helps. And then I've got notes pages back here. I've got enough to get me through the school year. And then a little note and a little pocket to just shove anything in there that I need from my meeting. And I think this will work really well. I'm kind of obsessed with this cover as well. I kind of want to order it for seven by nine size to have for this planner. I just think that would be fun to like match. <laughs> so here I am <laughs> finishing out the rest of 2023 with two planners and I couldn't be more excited. I'm really just gonna just go with the flow, which is not my strong suit, but I'm going to try to just make the best of this planner and really figure out what I want to do for 2024 and just experiment. And I think that will be really fun and also get me inspired again. Let me know about your stack and how you are going to finish out the year. I'd love to hear about all the planners in your system and how they're going to work for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye.